Hello and welcome to BCIS. BCIS provides independent data for the built environment. This is a guide to using our analyses module. Our analyses enable you to benchmark proposed build projects against those of a similar nature. For this guide, I'm going to find a detailed analysis from the BCIS database that closely matches the requirements of a proposed building project and show you how to adjust it for time and location. So to open the analyses module, we click on analyses in our left hand menu and that opens up our basic parameter selection. We're going to look at a theoretical project or a four storey 1250 square metre office block built in Southampton. So we need to select administrative, commercial and protective facilities and then check that box there, 320 offices and close and apply. If we wanted to, we could adjust the age of the analysis that we're going to look at. Quite happy with that, newer than 2009. So I'll keep it going down and I'll move on to the exact building specification. So I click next at the bottom, come into specification. Currently it's selecting all. We're thinking about a new build. So let's select new build there. And then let's uh, put some default ranges in. We're going to put a range of 1250, a range based on 1250, and then we're going to have a range based on four stories. And we're going to leave these as they are, air conditioning, basement, we'll look at projects with or without. If we wanted to, we could filter by specific keywords if, uh, if we were getting lots of results and we wanted to really drill down. And we could also go into the advanced specification around client codes, location codes, uh, and, and the items you can see there. But we're happy with that for our demonstration. So we're gonna go on to rebase the costs. So first things, we look at the date we can use BCIS forecasts to adjust forward. So let's, let's assume this is something we're considering that we think is going to be built in the first quarter of 2022. Close that. And as I said earlier, the theory is this project is in Southampton. So if I expand the southeast and then expand Hampshire, I can actually select. Southampton so we get our costs rebased by time and location to the area and the time that we're thinking about. So we can see now the basic parameters that we've selected and we can see at the bottom here what the results we're going to get. We're going to get five projects, one at building level, one at group elemental level and one at a full, uh, three at a full elemental breakdown. So if we click next, we get those results. We can, we can see all of the results here and we can drill into those when there's a bit more detail and actually have a look at what the project was. So let's have a look at this Kings Lynn Innovation Centre. And we can see where costs have been rebased there's a very clear indicator rebased next to them, just so we don't forget what we've done. And the full detail of the project is then presented. We've got summary details, we've got site conditions, we've got the breakdown of the contract. We have tender details, this one's only got one, some projects we can, we can see the range of tenders. We see who submitted it, who it was built for, who did the building and the designing. And then we can see the full elemental breakdown. So each individual element of the project, exactly where the costs were. And then we've got specification notes. So we can look at the specification that's driving those costs. So what we've got is a really powerful tool for producing comparables when you're looking at providing early cost advice to clients. And of course, you can click download you can take away a copy of this to include in your ex exports for clients, etc. PDF, CSV, 
XML uh, so you can build it into your own documentation as uh, backup evidence. And finally, you can also back up at the top, click on benchmark to view that individual project in relation to the other projects that we've picked up through our filters and also as a comparison against BCIS average prices. Thanks for watching.